Again, at this point, all you can do to, all we know how to do to find uh, an integral is either estimate it using a bunch of little tiny rectangles or use geometry to calculate the area, right? Like a half circle, quarter circle, triangle, something like that. Or we're going to look at how to use the calculator to do it. Um, obviously, the founders of calculus didn't have this technology, right? Or because maybe they wouldn't have actually invented calculus then. They would have just kept estimating it with rectangles using technology. But um, that's all the calculators are doing is giving you a really close estimate. But uh, let's look at how to do this here. If you want to evaluate this integral here, so the area underneath this function from 1 to 4, that one's not one we can do with geometry. So we can set up, you, you can do two things. You can get the calculator to spit out the number of what it is, which is shown here, okay? Shows on the screen there. On a TI-83, the, the function used to be set up like this where it was FN int, numerical integration, function integration. And that is under the math menu. So if you go, if you have a TI-83, you go to, uh, oops, let's get out of here. Come on. Okay, uh, go to math. You can go all the way down to the bottom of the list or you can, you know, you can go this way or you could be tricky and just go off the top of the list and it's the second one up from the bottom. Now you need to put in there the function. So down below, you, and I, you need to put in, go back to the calculator. You need to put in the function. So for this one, it is x squared minus 2x. You need to tell it the variable. It might not be obvious why you have to, but that's the way it's programmed. So you have to put comma x. You got to tell it the variable is x. And you need to put in the lower limit and the upper limit that you're integrating it across. So you want the area from 1 to 4 of that function when x is the variable. And of course, it says 6. It takes a little bit to figure it out, but not very long. On a T84, it looks a little nicer. They have updated it. Let's show them both at the same time. Put this one over here. This one, when you, uh, when you do this numerical integration function, number one, there's more things on the list. So it's up a few more from the bottom. But it looks like the way you write it, right? That, that feature on there. So you put one, four, it, it's, it's a little more intuitive. You don't necessarily have to know the order of putting things in. X, and then here's maybe why you have to tell it X is a variable in the other one, right? DX is saying X is the variable. That's the equivalent of this X on this feature here. And we hope it gives us the same thing. What did I do wrong there? Oh, I know what I did wrong. <laughs> what did I do wrong? Punch something in wrong. Okay, so let's fix this. Obviously, that's not four, that's two. What do you think happens with that function? Given that that starts to be negative, what happens with that function if you go farther to the, if you, if you make that number different? The fact that that's negative, this was positive. This one's got to have more of an area underneath the curve, right? Negative areas underneath. But that's uh, using both of those things. Now, on both those calculators, you can get it to, if you're a visual person, the other way you can get it to tell you an integral is by if you already have the graph set up. So if we set up the graph, the other way is like that where you can actually get it to show you the integral. Okay, so if you if you, uh, if you you set up the graph on this thing, both calculators are the same. So go here, x squared minus 2x. You set up the graph, uh, obviously I have to set up the window. I know that the default one in there is zoom standard 10 in all directions. I usually like to do this one if I know it's going to be close to the axes and then change it from there. Now that's, that's not going to show us, that'll show us some of it, but I'm going to get rid of all these negative things here. I'm going to go from zero. I think on here I went up to 4.7, but I went like negative two to um, 10 or something like that. Probably good enough. That looks more like my picture there. It's one of these things under the calc menu, if you have ever used that before, and you, I'm sure you have. Under that calc menu, there's these choices. And you probably have, you've probably looked at this many times when you use this calculator, but you've never questioned what those things were. The first one, obviously, or number, sorry, the number six is 
dy dx, the derivative, it'll give you this, it'll show you the slope, give you the slope of the tangent line. This integral, that tiny little integral symbol, f of x dx, so if you go down to number seven or hit number seven, you gotta still tell it the boundaries. We're going from one to four, right? And then it actually shades it in, so it's just conf confirmation that that's the area you're looking for. All right? So that is how to use those numerical integration features on here. It's not doing some analytical kind of calculus. It's doing what you did, estimating using areas, right? It's splitting into little tiny rectangles, adding them up. That's what it's doing. 